I thought it'd be a good idea to get up to date on some of the latest options to fast charge all my USB based devices, including my phone, cameras, Bluetooth speakers, LED lights and everything in between. The fastest mains charger I owned was an Anker PowerPoint Mini, which charges at 2.4 amps and 5 volts. So according to Watt's law, that means it's effectively a 12 watt charger. It has a small IQ logo next to two USB-A ports. To see if the improvements in technology were small or great, and whether it's really necessary to buy new charging tech every one or two generations, I bought an Anker 511 Nano Pro with a claimed 3 amp charging current at 5 volts, so 15 watts, it proudly sports a small IQ3 logo next to the single USB-C port. Any claims it may have of being a 20 watt charger are based on it delivering 9 volts and 2.2 amps. As I charge all the same electrical and electronic gear in my camper van as well, I bought a Ugreen PD30 watt car charger set which claims to deliver a maximum current of 5 amps. For practical purposes via the USB-C cable, I'd be getting 3 amps at 5 volts, so the same as the Anker 511 Nano Pro. As a control, I used my TOPK 74 watt hour power bank and used each of the chargers to take it from 10% to 100% charge and recorded the time in each case. Here are the results. So is it worth constantly upgrading? On this occasion and in my case, yes, as charging time was almost halved, presumably helped by the electronics in the chargers and the TOPK power bank. However, there are presumably limits to the number of watts you can squeeze out of a 5 volt or 12 volt socket at 3 or 5 amps respectively, so my next upgrade can wait a while. It's all good.